Hey, this is Leslie. Um, I have a word. Um, I was reading this scripture. It's late at night. Um, but I was reading this scripture and it is Isaiah 55 and 11. And it says, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. God's word um, is like seed, okay? Um, and that seed, once it leaves God's mouth, it's going to be planted. Um, and as the word says, it shall not return to me void. It's not coming back empty. It's not coming back without results, without being used. It, it, his word, his seed is never going to be useless. Um, and the thing about it is, We'll get a word from God. We'll hear. And the word is not always just audible. Sometimes it's a dream. Sometimes it's a vision, a knowing. And um, we don't act on that thing. And in the law of sowing and reaping, that word is going to be sown into the earth. Um, that idea, okay, that popped into your head, that was a seed, that was a word that God spoke and it took form as a seed in your mind, implanted as a thought. And, you know, maybe that thing was, oh, you needed to start a, um, you know, some type of wellness business or something like that, right? And because you didn't act on that thing, um, and as the word says, it shall not return to me void, okay? That seed is being planted. It is going to come to fruition. It's going to come to maturation. It's going to grow, whether you um, act on it or not. Right. And so maybe you decide you're not going to act on it or you're slow and act on it. Well, guess what? Someone else is going to pick it up because that thing is not going to return to God void. Um, it's going to accomplish. It's going to fulfill its mission. It's God's word. It's God's seed, regardless of who picks it up and see, that's why, you know, sometimes we, we, we're trying to figure out, like, how is it that the wicked is always, always prospering? Well, they understand certain principles and laws of God, even though they don't uh, necessarily believe in God, it, 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 you know, don't call on him as their Lord and Savior. They have a, um, they believe in him, but they don't, they don't, um, they don't reverence him, right? They don't, they don't serve him. Um, but guess what? That seed still came down. God spoke this thing into existence for you. However, you didn't pick it up. So now someone um, who is not his child has picked it up and they're prospering with this thing because the word's not going to return to God void. Um, regardless of who picks it up, that's just the nature of his seed, his word. OK, and so it's going to accomplish what he pleased. Um regardless and it's going to prosper in that thing and we we're upset because the wicked are prospering but we children of God are not picking up the word are not picking up the seed that God has supplanted into the earth has supplanted into our minds um and he gives us the opportunity to take that thing and run with it right like I was supposed to write the vision and uh make it plain and and, and so that the person who's running can read it on, can read it on the run they can pick it up and they can run with that thing right run with that vision run with that plan um but because we don't do that then those that are not children of god it looks like they keep winning um but a lot of it is because we won't pick up and do with what God has given us, what he's told us to and regardless and do you understand that it's saying that the word's not going to return void. We get afraid and we don't want to um, walk in the purpose that God has given us. Whatever it is he, he's called you to, we're afraid to do that thing. You know, we have so many reasons, so many excuses. And, and I'm speaking from experience, okay? Um, it's not just you. But we're so afraid to do that thing when he specifically tells us that it's going to accomplish what he pleased, what he set out, what he intended for it to accomplish. And it's going to prosper. OK, it's not only is it going to be accomplished, not only is it going to come to fruition, but it's going to prosper. Um, it's not. God, why would God give us something? Why would God give us an idea that he intended to fail like he's not a God of failure? So we have to stop being afraid 
of the ideas because it's big, because it's audacious, because it's bold, because it's going to require help, because it's going to require capital, because it's going to require, you know, some um, thinking outside of the box, because it's going to take us outside of our box, outside of our comfort zone. We we discard these things and then we get mad when we see someone else doing that very thing. And in the very way, we know that God spoke it to us. But that seed, once he spoke that thing, however he um, gave you that thing, it's going to come to life. Um, you know, it, it. he wanted it to be fertilized. He wanted it to be um, placed into the soil of your heart, placed into the soil of your mind. And it was, but because you did not act on it, someone else picked that thing up too. Because listen, the, the enemy... <laughs> He's waiting on these seeds as well. He knows how how God, and I'm not saying he knows completely how God works, but he has a pretty good idea, um, you know, of, of, of these different laws and principles of God. And he knows that if God speaks something or he, he, he gives you some type of idea, he knows that he can pick that stuff up too, because we're not acting on it the way that we should. He knows that he can, he can... He knows that that thing's going to be picked up. And so if it's picked up by one of his uh, uh, um, followers, okay, um, he can distort and destroy. He can um, use that, the, the very thing that God meant for good, he can turn it around and try to use it for um, evil intent or evil purposes, or even just to frustrate you, to keep you in a place of um, stagnation, okay? Um, and a lot of it has to do with um, self-sabotage, right? Because we don't think we're worthy of certain things, but God's giving you certain ideas, um, specifically because he wants you to implement them. Okay. We have to stop sitting on what God gives us, um, and thinking that it'll be there later. It's kind of like the, the talents, right? Where, where the, where the, um, the servant buried his talent instead of using it, God's giving you seed. Um, and he does not want you to bury that thing. Um, the one that buried his talent was called wicked because he sat on that thing. God wants what he speaks into your heart, into your mind, when he speaks into this earth realm to come to fruition. And it's going to, regardless if you decide to partner with him or not. And, um, you know, it's, it's really up to us. Um, we have free will, right? He doesn't even force us to love him or to make choice of him. So it's really up to you. You know, the things that God has spoken into your heart and told you that he wants you to do. Um, and I always seem to take things back to like business or something like that, because I, I just feel like God has um, given many of us um, these ideas um, and not saying that everybody has to start a business. But I believe that he's given his believers, his um, his disciples, I'm sorry, his disciples, um, lots of witty inventions and ideas because he wants his people to prosper above those that belong to the enemy um but because we won't act and we won't move on things um it's always going to seem like the enemy's winning he's not in the end he does not but uh we have a job and a duty to do here in the earth right we need to um run with what god has given us we need to stop being afraid because it's coming from our father and as we know he gives good gifts so why wouldn't he give good ideas He's not doing anything to hurt us. He's doing everything to prosper us, right? What is it? Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the plans that, that I have for you, the thoughts that are, you know, um, to prosper you and give you an expected end. Um, this is why he's sending the seeds down. So I hope this is making sense. You know what it is that God has told you to move on, move on it, um, and don't delay. That's the most important part. Um, do, do not delay. Yes, of course, take it to God. Yes, of course allow him to give you the the understanding and the the blueprint or strategy and instructions to get that thing done and continue to consult him as you do but don't sit on that thing because the enemy is not playing right he's trying to grab that seed as quickly as he can to use it for his own purposes and intent um so that's the word <laughs>